The quote is, the shortest and the surest way to live with honor in the world is to be in reality what we would appear to be. All human virtues increase and strengthen themselves by the practice and experience of them. Socrates. There are many places and times in life when one experiences honor. Honor lives inside of our cells and souls. It deep, it is, it's deeply rooted in us, sometimes so strongly that it can hold us back. Family, friends, our environment, cultural traditions, and much more create the unconscious value, which can be likened to roots holding our feet to the earth. I have experienced honor many times in my life, but one experience in particular remains profound and forever interwoven within my heart. One autumn day, I was walking on a tree-lined street in Victoria, where I grew up. The brilliant and rich colors of autumn foliage surrounded me. Suddenly, a lightning bolt went off inside of me, and a vision appeared before me in my mind. Dumbfounded, I stopped walking. I looked around and found no one was on the street. Immersed in my vision, my body turned to light and I felt lightness and smiles spread through like blood rushing from my heart. A bit of background is in order now, as this vision had a definite genesis, beginning with my 50th birthday. I know I don't look it, right? <laughs> I had recently moved to Brussels, and I decided to celebrate the landmark in India. But before arriving there, I went on my world birthday party tour <laughs> to reflect the gypsy-like nature and whimsical nature of my extraordinary life journey. The first party would be at my ho new home in Brussels. My roommates threw a glorious bash for me. The multi-leveled art deco home was filled with people, many of whom were of new acquaintances and friends of my roommates. The, this party represented a new decade, a new era, a new beginning for me. It was also a fabulous bash because four longtime friends from London, Toronto, and Switzerland attended. The weekend with, me, with them was so full of laughter, love, and happiness. We reminisced over and over again. I can't remember a time filled with such frivolity and silliness. The laughter that resonated in the air was directly coming from our hearts. Truth was embodied in these full, joyous sounds. Then a few days later, I got on a plane and traveled to Vancouver for two more celebratory parties in my honor. I, one was a small dinner party with a in a fine restaurant with some extremely close friends. The other party held by my former roommates had an Indian theme due to my love for India and the upcoming trip. It was compromise of old friends for my skating and film, plus other walks of life. All ages are gloriously represented. My mother even made the trip from Victoria to attend this incredible bash. Continuing along my 50th birthday tour, I went to Victoria, where my sister had arranged a delightful party with family old friends from elementary school to university, and my oldest friend of all, Jeanette, who I have known since infancy. I had now attended four parties in three cities, two countries, and two continents, representing my exciting history, incredible relationships, and rewarding accomplishments. How gratifying and fascinating that was to me. I felt very thankful indeed for these gifts in my life. On that autumn day in Victoria, as I stood on the street of my youth, my vision was so profound. I was standing at the top of a mountain. I looked down and saw the different paths of my life. Some were well-traveled and some not so well-traveled, some short and others very long. They curved and intersected and then curved some more, never a straight line. I scanned them with bewilderment. What I saw standing at different points along the paths were many different pillars. These pillars represented the people in my life. I looked down at each one of the pillars, 
contemplating their relationship to me. I saw big smiling pillars. I saw pillars of strength. I saw pillars of all ages standing with tenderness, fierceness, and playfulness. There were so many pillars, dead and alive. I remember them turning, and I remember then turning and looking up and seeing another mountain to climb. It was high and steep with snow on the top of it. I turned to my pillars of strength, my friends, and I said, follow me, we aren't done yet. We then, we then began to climb upward with more wisdom toward the next half journey of my life. This was such an honor for me to realize that these important people have, long, have been longtime friends, have been colleagues who followed my career in silence or exuberance, or have an acquaint been acquaintances who I have seen only a few times in so many years without much correspondence. I realize this is what life is about. There is nothing more amazing in life than family and friends. All the rest is camouflage. The rest is just a facade for the real thing, family and friends. They make up the total of one's life. They are the salt of the earth, and they are the roots that ground you to the earth. It all comes down to one thing, the honor to love these people who have supported and cheered me throughout life. I am thankful for these gifts just being there, close or far away in space or in mind. Of course, we are not happy with everyone all the time. And as time goes by, pillars may disappear or collapse. Those are the paths on the mountain that end for whatever reason, but they were all important for the journey. The ones that remain in your life to the very end are those that, on many different levels, fit with your spirit. I am honored to still have my old friends and honored when I have new friends who become another pillar in my life. I may not be saying anything new, or perhaps I regard this with a little naivety. However, we often don't fully see the spectrum of this honor, this gift, this universal truth in our lives. I am honored by many other situations, projects, and gifts in life. This comes from a special place inside of us. It is called the heart. That is where love sits. That is where honor is received and felt. It is full of spirit. It is full of calmness and humility. It is a cup which is filled to the brim and flowing over. Finally, my tour would end in Ottawa, where I would meet up with some old friends. It was fantastic. They were so happy that I had finally reached 50. These friends were older than me, and I could see that they, these very bright and adventurous people and now new lives were beginning after retiring. Their energies were vibrant and healthy, and most of all, playful. If I doubt a life after 50, they elegantly displayed that I can definitely live a very powerful life after 50. This was a magical realization for me. Honor yourself by honoring others. It is an honor to be alive, a true gift. Honor's home is within the heart. Everyone has different situations in life where honor can be realized, sensed, and represented. It is there within you and happening all the time. Let it blossom forth to its deserved magnificence. <laughs>